is Sarah Mikesell with thepigsite.com, and today we're here with Elwyn Taylor. He is a climatologist with Iowa State University. So thanks for being with us today, Elwyn. Great to be with you, Sarah. Very good. So you're getting ready to go talk to, to pork producers here at the World Pork Expo about expectations for the weather this summer and, this se and going into the fall. Can you tell us what you're planning to talk to them about? Well, for the rest of this growing season and for the next few years, right. uh, we've got a trend going on with our weather. So that's the kind of thing we're going to be looking at. And of course, this year we're coming out of a very strong El Nino event. El Nino is the friend of the Midwest farmer. When El Nino's going on, we have a 70% chance of an above trend line yield for both corn and soybeans all across the Corn Belt. When it's neutral, of course, it's about 50-50. But when we switch to a La Nina, then there's a 70% chance we're going to be below trend and a greatly increased risk of going into drought. And so people are real worried, is this El Nino going to shift into a La Nina? Well, they don't always do that. In fact, of the past five strong El Nino events, this is one of the top five in strength, but of the past five strong ones, twice we went into a drought. That was 83 and 88. Well, already we don't know what this year will turn out to be. It could still turn into an 83. It's too late to be an 88. 88 was already a big drought by now. But if we look at that, the other three times with strong El Nino, we had above normal crops the next year, didn't even go into a strong La Nina at all. So we don't really know. A strong El Nino tends to hold on. Also, of course, we're talking about the next few years. We have, beginning with the drought in 2012, I think was year one of 25 years with high yields and low yields bouncing all over the place like we had in the 80s and not like we had in the 60s when we had every year the yields just got a little bit better with no variability from year to year for 18 years followed by 25 years of variability followed by 18 years of consistent yield and now beginning we fear 25 years of high variability of yield be ready for that make all of the risk decisions that you would have made in the 1980s if you'd have been smart then. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today, Ellen. I appreciate it. This is Sarah Mikesell at thepigsite.com.